about almost nine o'clock in the morning here. I think we're the only ones at breakfast. I think we're the only ones in this hotel, maybe. <laughs> to be determined. But got a nice little spread here. I'll show you the room. The room's pretty cool. It's an outdoor hotel, but this uh, breakfast room is kind of like closed in with this glass wall. We have a little toaster here with some bread. We got some, some, some potatoes and onions. And I think these are little tiny pancakes, some fruit, some juice. And then they got this really beautiful ceiling here. So yeah, it's cool. All right. So we have our breakfast spread here. I'm gonna ask for some coca tea, which is the tea that you drink for altitude. And it really just tastes like green tea. All right, so day five, we're in Cusco. I think we're already liking it a little bit better. Oh, we gotta hustle. And we're heading to San Pedro Market for a cooking class, we're in cooking class. We're gonna cook some ceviche. I think we're gonna even cook some lava, sad, some lava, sad face. Cusco is quaint. It's cute already so far, more than Lima. We've got beautiful views of the mountains up ahead. And we woke up, I had a headache, felt a little bit nauseous, so it's less, about 11,000 feet. So we took, took some Diamox, drank the coca tea, they were both supposed to help. And um, I'm feeling a lot better after breakfast. So we're just keep going straight here, down to San Pedro Market. Whoa! Oh, there's the guinea pigs. <laughs> Chickens. Whoa. Oh my goodness. This is what I'm talking about culture. This is wild. So, this is all just complete culture. I love it. There's uh, chickens, there's guinea pigs. People everywhere, lots of colors. This is the, this is the market we're going to. Yeah. Altitude, I'm legitimately out of breath already. Smells good. No, it does smell good. It smells like uh, fried pork. This is the spot. This is the spot. Okay. Oh, it's Peru Rail. Sacion. So we just got warned we're gonna go in and see some very creepy things. Lots of meat and uh, look away if you're squeamish at this point. This is the stomach. I they see the snout. Smell. Whoa. They even use brain, you know? More snout, horns. Whoa. Jesus. That's amazing. Wow. That's the penis. That's the penis, okay. Would you try it? <laughs> so what they do is grab all these cuts and make soup. Make soups? Yeah. This is very traditional as a breakfast. If you had party last night. Yes. Because this wakes you up really quick. Lots of fat, 
some protein. Uh huh. Everybody here is having arroz con huevo, which is white rice with egg. Very popular in Peru. So this is, and this has a salt, salty, sweet, and the pepper. Rocoto is a uh, kind of chili only grows in Cusco, I tell you. It hits the back of your throat a little bit, yeah. <laughs> that chocolate, salty, chocolatey, and a little bit of spicy. <laughs> really good. Next thing in the market, I had to do the cooking class next. And this whole area isn't here normally, but it's because of the festival that's going on here. It's the uh, winter solstice is coming up here in June. Sugar from. Okay. This is sugar cane? Yeah. Cool. Churros. <laughs> this Cusco has a lot more character than Lima, I feel like. It's amazing. Oh, here we go, a cooking studio. What I'm going to do is just to extract the use and separate it from the seeds. So that's the passion fruit. This so is the yeah. pisco. And this is, what is this called? Uh, simple syrup. Simple syrup. Just simple syrup, okay. Yeah. Yep. Do it up, Celeste. It's good. Yeah, and then make a heart. Right. Uh, That's what they did on yeah. my drink yesterday. Uh, that should be if you didn't. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, one, two, three. There you go. I think yours uh, looks maybe the most beautiful. I don't know. Have you ever done this before? <laughs> It's fantastic, yeah. So traffic is crazy today, it's a festival, but we just finished the cooking class and I would say I would rate that a 9.5, 9.9 out of 10. That was fantastic. We had a great cooking class with our guy Alvaro. He made ceviche, we made uh, risotto quinoa, and we made a nice little dessert as well. So we'll put all that together and you can see it. And uh, if you ever come to Cusco, try it out. It's a great way to learn how to make Peruvian dishes. All of these cars just have their engines turned off. I think they are, this is, this road has just turned into a parking lot today. All right, so we're heading back to San Pedro Market. Plus wants to do some shopping. She's found some things that she likes. We're gonna check out the markets. Oh my goodness. Cuscania. That's right, my favorite Cusco beer. Come on, there's people eating, they're drinking Coca Cola, they're drinking Cuscania beer, there's guinea pigs, there's chickens, balloons. Celeste, we gotta try some guinea pigs, I think. I know, I don't know if 
ready for it. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is amazing. It's amazing the sheer amount of people here that are just out drinking Cuscania beer, guinea pigs, eating guinea pigs, eating chicken, eating the bread. It's really, really pretty cool. looked it up and it's Corpus Christi which is a procession of 15 images of the Saints I guess there's 15 churches in Cusco and they process down here and uh, I think we just caught the to the Cathedral to the Cathedral of Cusco anyway that was amazing they have um, parishioners that carry the, the the Saints down the parade and they have the band that plays songs and you're supposed to eat what is it Chiri Uchu which is fried food so maybe we'll try some Oh, churros. You got the churros, Celeste. Um, oh, Ooh, that was a good cold. bite. All right. mm. Delicious. Delicious, sugary. You can never have too many churros. I asked them if it was the best churros of Cusco. They kind of giggled at me. Los mejores churros de Cusco. We got basket. basket at the little shop here in San Pedro Market. Just checking out this corn. Yeah, what is this? Where is this going? Table runner. In the kitchen or in the dining room? Yeah, our video in the. Video. All right, we got it. Our little. Uh, Emeronito. Emeronito helped us. 100 soles. 100 soles. So 25. Not bad. Not bad. All right, so we got lots of gifts for the fam. Now we're going to head to the Plaza de Armas, which is the main square of Cusco, see if we can find Celeste a sweater made from llama or alpaca wool. such a cool city like it's just dripping with culture and character I think we're really catch catching it at a good time all right so we are in Cusco right now and it's Corpus Christi which is a celebration of 15 saints that they process down this uh, main street here into the Plaza de Armas to the Catedral, which is the cathedral. Big celebration, lots of food, lots of music. There's live bands uh, playing horns and, and uh, like marching bands. Lots of good food, like I said, and um, it's really just a, an awesome holiday. We did not plan this at all, but it's been pretty amazing. Architecture is just gorgeous.
a church in Cusco. This place is awesome. All right, we're <laughs> just took a little bit of a nap. I probably have some bags under my eyes. This altitude's taken out of me a little bit. Just I've felt a little bit tired all day. Um, but we're going down to meet at the square to see if we can hop onto this tour to go to the planetarium to uh, learn about some of the Incan astronomy. So we'll see. Our hopes got dashed. It was full, so we can't do it. But they suggested we get some chicha morada and we're gonna go check out the Plaza de Armas and uh, try to get some food and a sweater for Celesto. Got her alpaca sweater. I guess I'll model it for you later this week. That's right. You gotta wear it later. From, from what was it called? Pure alpaca. Oh, and me is wholesome. <laughs> That's a little street right off the of Plaza de Armas. Pretty cool spot. There's these uh, pure alpaca stores are all over the place here. All right, so Celeste pointed out. You can see it. It's way up there. Tiny little spot yeah. there. Like probably another thousand feet. That's a day hike we might do later. But here's the Plaza de Armas uh, in La Noche. Savicharia del Valle Sagrado. All right, we're going in. We are at the Savicharia del Valle Sagrado here in the city center. The Plaza de Armas is right behind us. I think this is a really cool spot to grab a beer because we have this little like deck area out here. Celeste and I are having. We're ordering uno caro, caro de uno, which is uh, one of each of their cervezas. They have one, two, three, four, five, seis cervezas to try. And um, yeah, you got a nice little view of the street here. This is a little This, is, this is very American, absolutely. That's why we love it. It's, yeah, that's why we came. The corn. Oh, corn. Roasted corn. Or peppery. Yeah. All right, the views. Try this pronunciation one more time so I can get it right. Cervezaria del Valle Sagrado. That's where we are. That's pretty good. I think I got it fine. All right, so here's all the beers we have. This is an American wheat. This is an IPA. Red ale, sour, porter, citra ale, uh, black IPA. This is a strong ale. Which one was this? I forget. That's an IPA as well. There you go. There they are. All are. <laughs> nope. It's too red. I didn't like it. It's had some tartness to it. Tartness. We got the sour here. The Fruit Express Sour. Oh yeah. That's sour. Is that sour? It's good though. I like it. Make this. Well, thanks Celeste because she's allowed me to take a video of her trying the sour. Whoa. Expected. It's like a little tart. It just gets like the back of the throat, not so much like yeah. cheeks. That's good though. Fruit Express. Think we can get this in the States? Nope. Look at these little llamas. <laughs> Amazing. Alright, so we just finished at the Cevicheria de Valle Sagrado, and it was a really good brewery. Now we are going to, we're gonna switch things up a little bit today, get some Indian food. We're gonna take a break from the meat, because we usually don't eat a lot of meat, so we're gonna get some Indian. And uh, try. We're gonna try to, yeah. These guys. Wow. And it's still odd for, there goes another one. Still odd for us to see stray dogs just running around. Makes you wanna just like take them home, but cultural differences. Here we go. Vegetable Rani Celeste. <laughs> this is massive. Fried <laughs> poor fried cottage paneer. That looks amazing. Now we got the garlic on here. Let me see. Oh, it yes. Smells amazing. It smells amazing. Yeah. Everything looks it is delicious. This is definitely a little spot that you would walk right by, but Chef Singh, at what, what's the actual you pronounce it? Garwal? Garwal, Indian food. It had a really great Google review and we thought we'd try it out. Chef Amit Singh is the man, super friendly, started this business just before COVID, he survived and the food was absolutely incredible. Go there if you like Indian food. 
We wanted a little bit of break from the Peruvian meat, so it was delicious, it was vegetarian. Uh, highly recommend. Arroz con huevos all day long. Rice with eggs all day long. They do the white rice and they do the egg on top. It's like french fries. With french fries. Super popular. I've been Salsa, seeing people probably. eat it all day long. We found another baby alpaca. <laughs> okay, so end of day five. Day five was awesome. From the surprise festival to the baby alpacas to the the beer to at the cervecería. And uh, thanks for watching. Let me know what you like the best. Adios, amigos. Hasta luego. Día <laughs> seis. See you tomorrow. Hasta mañana. Is the lake, you can see the lake, and from here is the body. Hana Pachapa. Hana Pachapa. It's so many people, it's amazing. We're at Cristo Banco here in Cusco at 11,748 feet.